everybody, I'm Noah from Phonog.com here at Google I.O. in front of the massive display case of, uh, I don't know if this is all the Android phones in the world, but it might be. So I figured, you know, what could be more fun for uh, a nerdy phone blogger than to show you all the phones? So let's just run them down here. In no particular order except left to right. So first here's the little uh, Google Android figures. They're giving these out to uh, some, I got a t-shirt, press people got t-shirts, but some of the folks got these little figurines. Let's see if I can track one down. Anyway, Droid Eris for Verizon from HTC. The uh, F913 from Foxconn International. Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 Mini Pro. ZTE Blade. Moto Backflip. HTC Tattoo. The LG VS740. Which, uh, is that the Ally? Because that, yeah, it's Verizon, it's the Ally. Nexus One. Nexus One gets a little, uh, get a little robe out there. Samsung Galaxy. So this is, it says A slash, A slash SHW M100S. I believe this is the Galaxy S. I'm not so good with the, uh, you guys probably know. You're watching this. Yeah, yeah of course it is. Because uh, you know what the uh, actual model numbers mean. I forget all that. Because I, I just, I get all the marketing people, they brainwash me. Acer Liquid Stream. That one's nice looking. I like that one. Got the extra buttons on the bottom there. Moto Click XT Dex to XT. HTC Hero. Sony Ericsson Xperia X10. Foxconn F911. Samsung Galaxy 5. Interesting. Not a US phone. You can see the TIM logo up there. Uh, I never, you know, I never knew how to pronounce the name of this company. Let me get this wrong. You can, you can correct me if you can. Spell it phonetically in the comments. The Huawei U8100. ZTE Link. The Pantech IM600 S Sirius for Sky, not a US phone. The Dell Streak. I know some of you wanted to see that. That's big, man. I don't know how you're going to carry that thing around as a phone, but that's just my opinion. I know some of you were drooling over it. Nice, though. Very sleek looking. Samsung Galaxy 3. The Garmin Asus T-Mobile Garmin phone. Moto Droid, Foxconn F903, HEC Droid Incredible for Verizon, Acer B Touch E400, Kyocera ZOM6000. Anything that has thousand in the title, I'm a fan of, or in the name, I should say. Speaking of thousand, here's the Galaxy S, Samsung Galaxy S GT i9000. So, you know, maybe that is the Galaxy S, and then I wonder what that other. Galaxy was, which uh, I think the other one was actually nicer looking, a little sleeker, a little uh, you know fewer things in the front. Uh, Huawei U8120, the Alcatel OT980 for TCT Mobile. There's the Dell Arrow for AT&T. LG GW620. No, it doesn't say. There's no uh, there's no release date, no pricing on the Dell Arrow thing. You see, it just says Dell Arrow from Dell, but it does have the AT&T logo. HTC Magic. Samsung Galaxy Beam. The Philips Go Gear Connect. I haven't seen that one yet. Motorola Moto Roy. HTC Legend. Foxconn F910. Moto Click, Moto Dex. The other one was the XT. This is just the uh, the regular Click Dex with the keyboard. Uh, Huawei U8110. The Sharp KDDI ISO1. Little uh, smart book, Qualcomm enabled smart book. Can you see that there? I'll turn the camera sideways. Can you see where it says Qualcomm 3G CDMA? No. Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 Mini. There's the Acer Liquid E. LG GT540, Moto Devour. All right, this one I know you're gonna get all excited about. There's the Evo 4G. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to reach through the glass, but I've already we we played with it a few times already. So you know, we're still very excited about it. But um, plenty of coverage if you want more on that on Phone Dog on our YouTube channel, whatever. All kinds of coverage on that one. Foxconn F902. There's some more robots. There's some more robots. Hey, look, more droids. ZTE Smooth, perhaps the best named device in this whole thing. 
Who could forget the T-Mobile G1? NTT Docomo SH10B from Sharp, which looks like it's a smart book form factor clamshell. Foxconn SC402 Comtiva. See that? It says Comtiva up there. More droids. Oh, droid headstand. HTC Desire. Samsung Acclaim for US Cellular. That's an interesting one. The Moto XC800 Zhishang. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, I apologize. And last but certainly not least, the Foxconn SA401. So there you go, the uh, case of Android devices. And you know, this is going to come up later. Just so you know, there's a palm booth over there under the Chrome thing. I asked them, there's no uh, sneak, sneak attack announcement of Chrome for Palm or cr Palm running Android or anything like that. It's just they have a, uh, the Palm developer environment, the Aries developer environment, that I was told runs very nicely in Chrome, so that's why they're showing it off. Anyway, there you go. From Google I.O. 2010, day one, where there was really no announcements about Android or anything that should be of too much interest to mobile phone fanatics, and yet I live blogged it. I left early because they got into tech demos, which, uh, cool stuff, but, you know, not for me, not for you. Uh, maybe for you, but not for phone dump. Anyway, like I was saying, live from Google I.O. 2010, day one, at the case of Android phones, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Much, much more on PhoneDog.com, AndroidDog.com.